So here's how I feel about Colin Kaepernick. If the NFL wants to open their ceremonies, any sports team, professional sports team, want to open their ceremonies with the national anthem, it should be willing to allow players, guests, owners, or whomever is in earshot of the national anthem to display their response to the national anthem. So here's, here's what I mean. I don't think that the national anthem should be uh, a part of opening ceremonies. And I think that will kill all political agenda because at the end of the day, the Star Spangled Banner is a political thing. Now, I know some of you may be saying, well, it's an homage to the patriots and those that died for this country, the whole nine. You look back at my wall, you'll see I'm a veteran. So I'm not speaking from some uh, side uh, malicious position. I serve and I understand and I understand the benefits and the sacrifice that military soldiers make. But I also understand that the military is a political outfit. It is a political outfit. It may be uh, our defense mechanism or offense mechanism for this country, but it's used in a political uh, fashion. Who's in office? They're politicians. Who sends soldiers to war? Politicians. Who decides on the budget for soldiers, politicians, who makes decide decisions on the weaponry, the strategic angles, whatever is happening in the military are made by politicians, which means that the military is actually being used for different political agendas. So, you know, it, with one presidency or uh, one executive team, executive branch may use the military in one perspective and four years later, 10 years later, 16 years later, 12 years later. It may be used in an entirely different way. So that means our soldiers are to respond and, 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 and listen to their chain of command, uh, you know, most dominantly the, the commander in chief. But it's still being used in a political fashion. Our covering, our United States flag um, is flown and it represents the U.S. government and the history that comes with it, which is largely political. The decisions to... Um, enslave Africans, the, the positions to um, voting rights, uh, equal women's rights, uh, these different things are political things. So if we're going to bring the national anthem to the sports arena, it is a political gesture. And the response made by players or whoever else, like I said in the beginning of um, of the national anthem um, should be respected as such. It's no different of my position, how I feel about homosexual or same-sex marriage, right? So my whole thing about same-sex marriage is if we're if it Christians and pastors and theologians and the clergy, whomever you want to uh, reference them as, if they're going to allow or they have allowed the U.S. government to um, make the decision on who can get married and who can get divorced. Marriages can take place outside of churches, or outside of religious uh, arenas, and so can divorces. The minute we say, okay, it's okay, the, the, the government has that position, then we should not expect that the government also has a position of who should get married, when, where, why, and the conditions. We've handed that jurisdiction over to the u.s government and taken it from the religious arena so arguing and fighting over uh, the same-sex marriage thing the first issue is the christians let um themselves down if if, if they hold a position that same-sex marriage should not be they let themselves down by allowing that institution to be taken away from the church that's my position on it so it's almost like you got to live with the decisions that are being made because you handed that over to the u.s government same way as the professional sports scene. This should, this should be about sports, right? It should be about whose team is the best and, um, you know, who, who has the best stats and all this different stuff. It's an it's a entertainment um, arena, you know, professional sports and entertainment arena. But now we're starting it off with a political statement. So we're starting it off with a political statement. We should not be up in arms and be so critical and so judgmental over people's response to the political arena. I'm not saying I support, or no, I'm saying I am against Colin Kaepernick's position. What I am uh, for is his First Amendment right to not support 
or, or freedom of speech in the way that he is responding to it and not support of the national anthem and the way he displays it by standing, coming up, crossing your, uh, your, 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 and locking your fingers, taking your hands up, putting your hands over your heart. However, you know, it's, it's displayed, his response to it, we got to support, not just because of the First Amendment right to do that, but because the sports arena has opened up the opportunity for you to have that position when they open up their games, their ceremonies with a political statement. So let's get over it and let that man live. If that's the climate we're going to create when we start in the sports team. So that's how I feel about Colin Kaepernick, folks. Have a great day.